Coach Andy Powell here after uh, watching Edward Cesare set the collegiate me record in the mile. H how you feeling about the race? Yeah, I mean, obviously thrilled to, to get a collegiate record. Um, I mean, I think that's his first his first collegiate record. Um, so big big for the program. Great great for him, and um, just just glad everything came came together. Yeah, I mean, was this. You know, we haven't seen Edward chase these sort of times generally during his career. Was this something that was your idea? Was it his idea? How did it come about? Yeah, I mean, I, I was talking with Matthew Sensowitz. Um, maybe, I don't know, we, we, we probably, we stay in touch and talk every week or so. Um, and he told me about his indoor plan. He said, you know, if things were going well, he was going to come here and, and uh, try, to, try to run a good mile. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked him, would it be okay if, if we tagged along and and um, you know, jumped on the back of that and um, talked with this coach, Alberto, and everyone seemed like that was okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, so we were anticipating that if everything was going well, we were, we were gonna do that. We had to make sure every, everyone got qualified and yeah, yeah. DMRs, all, everything had to kind of line up well and, and it seemed like it was trending in that direction. And um, Ed had a really good week of training, not this week, but the week before. Mm -hmm. uh, so a little nervous, he might be a little tired, but, but his workouts have been, been really good so mm -hmm. so yeah then it, you know Matthew ended up deciding to kind of focus more on the outdoor season and so he ended up not running obviously um, but we were kind of already already anticipating going and, and we wanted a good effort we knew it was a fast track um, called gags and, and and he thought maybe he would have some guys that would be interested and, and his guys have been running great all, all indoor season so yeah we just decided we'd we'd give it we'd give it a go yeah um, and uh, yeah, it all, it all worked out really well. Yeah, in terms of how he executed, I mean, was that what you wanted to see from him in terms of how he ran the race? Yeah, I mean, the, the thing I told him is I just wanted, to, wanted him to run hard. We just wanted a hard a hard effort. We tried to do that once once a season and then, um, well, twice a season. Once maybe in the middle somewhere and then once at nationals. And so I said, no matter what, don't worry, you know, about the time. Don't worry about the place. Just when the rabbit steps off. You just go, and we just talked about trying to run 29s, you know, for the last three laps, and um, you know, just really run hard, and, and hopefully callous himself a little bit going into NCAA's. Um, we did it last year at, at Milrose. That's why he was right on the rabbit again, and he pushed hard when the rabbit went went off. Um, so yeah, so he just he pushed he pushed hard from from you know really a long ways out, uh, 600 out, and um, yeah, luckily was Merber Merber had a good close, but was able to able to hold him off with that early fast pace, I guess. I mean, but has he, has he gotten antsy asking you to like, hey, can you finally let me run a fast mile? Like a he, fast he, no, yeah, he, he wants he wants to run. He wants to run sometimes. I mean, I, he loves the national championships and stuff like that. But yeah, he, you know, I think this was something that was important to him. He, he definitely wanted to run, you know, a fast time. He'd like to do the same thing outdoor. And we'll, we'll definitely, outdoor we'll be able to do. I don't know if it'll happen in the collegiate season or afterwards. Um, but yeah, that's, that's something. I mean, I think every every athlete wants those great PRs, and you know, you, you do all the training, and he's got the wins, and, and you know, it does does the team stuff for sure. But I think it is nice, you know, nice for him personally to have have kind of that that fast time under his belt. Yeah, I mean, do you, and that obviously helps him when he gets a professional contract or he's searching for one. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think I think that'll help, and um, you know, I, I think most of the collegiate guys that I've coached, they run. Pretty pretty fast in college, but they really do run a lot faster mm -hmm. after college, and you know try to make sure there's some running left in them, and and that's kind of the next thing for them to do. I, I feel like you know they, they start getting over to Europe and, and start trying to try to establish some fast times. Um, like Eric Jenkins, I bet you will run a lot of fast times this this year. You, you just saw Johnny Gregoric do that. Mm -hmm. Daniel Wynn will do that. Colby Alexander. So um, you know the collegiate system, it's hard to do everything. Mm -hmm. I think you see guys that maybe run fast at you know, Peyton Jordan meet, but then you don't hear what happens to him at the national meet. So it's, it's hard to do it all. Um, our focus has to be kind of the NCAAs. I think that's that's what that's what we're doing in college. You know, we're focused on the NCAAs. We're focused on doing our best there. Um, that usually sets yourself up pretty well for after college. Um, so, um, but yeah, for, for someone like him, it, it, it is nice that, you know, he's able to get, get a fast time. Yeah. You, I mean, you guys, more than most programs, though, will peak very hard for NCAAs. I'm wondering, I guess, just how, how do you do that? We train, I mean, not not to bore you with too much details, but it's just we, we train hard for like six weeks and every season, you know, and we, we just finished our six-week block today. Okay. Um, and so typically we don't run extremely fast during that six weeks. It's impressive how fast Ed ran, yeah. um, you know, finishing up a six-week block like that. Um, some guys, you know... Um, 
respond pretty well to the train, but usually they're pretty tired. Like, yeah. Fleet would always struggle during the six-week block. Um, I remember Eric Jenkins at Mount Pacific a couple of years ago struggled to, to anchor our team in 357, 350. I mean, it was just it's just really hard efforts. Yeah. But then two weeks later, it seems like as we taper and finally pull off a little bit, the gas, they just seem to really freshen up, and that's, that's why they seem to typically... Not all the time, but typically they run pretty well at the, at the NCAAs. Yeah. Is there any walkout in particular that Ed's done recently that was you know, really impressive? We did um, Tuesday, so like 12 days ago. He, he did like a tempo in the morning, and then he ran five 400s pretty fast, which is not our typical. It was pretty fast. Like in the 53s. Okay. Um, and that's not typical for, for us, at least at that time of the year. But, but I did want to do one workout like that. I got a recommendation um, and just... Um, something that that Sensuits had done and, and and so we wanted to try try something something like that we thought maybe it was it was kind of lacking um so we did that 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 was that was pretty hard um came back a few days later and did did some 800s but um but yeah i think um you know every friday we work pretty hard and if we're not working out we're racing and then doing something hard afterwards but um but our fridays are just just hard hard yeah. intervals i mean they're they're running hard Hopefully not quite all out, but it's it's pretty close. Yeah. yeah. And you mentioned it was something Centurus was done. Was that like something that you got from Alberto? You told yeah, I talked with Alberto and I talked with Matthew. I think those those two I talked to quite a bit um, mm -hmm. about training and bounce ideas. And I, I think they see some of the stuff that I do. I see some of the stuff that they do. And um, I think it's good to take bits and pieces from, um, you know, someone like Matthew and Alberto who've had a lot of, a lot of success. Um, that's the nice thing about being close with Matthew just um, you know it's nice not to have to coach him any anymore I get to kind of still stay in touch and follow him and um, you know we laugh sometimes at maybe the workouts he was doing with me in college because they really have progressed quite a bit um, and that's why I think he's just gotten a lot better so um, so yeah it's good it's good to see what other people do out there I, I still kind of have my own system that I that I like to do but yeah it's good it's good to certainly get feedback from from other people yeah do you have plan have you decided what everyone's going to be doing for events and no i just talking to you just trying to see where everyone is on the send order list see, see who gets in and and do what's best for the team and each each individual um and yeah um you know we can make a last minute decision at least on the dmr the other stuff we have to declare here in the next couple of days but um yeah, this is the last meet, so then we just kind of see see where everything is. Would, would you be open to entering him in three events again, like you did last year? Um, I doubt it, and you know, unless the DMR is on, on the table, because I, I do he he likes the DMR a lot, and so I think the DMR is certainly um, something that we we like we like to do well in. So, um, but yeah, I just honestly I'll have to decompress and think think of where everyone is and and sure. see how everyone's doing and just kind of see. See where we are as a whole team too. Like look at the other runners and look at the other events and look at how Arkansas is doing in Florida and and um, the other schools that that seem to be putting together a good good indoor season. Just see where we stack up. With, yeah, like, yeah. Because I guess I'm, I'm curious. Because last year, you know, he runs the 3K, 5K, DMR. He went all of that, but he has sort of slow start to outdoors. I'm wondering, do you think that's related at all? Do you think? Did you ask too much of him indoors, or? I think I think it was kind of just the the in between, probably. Just I, he did, he did go hard and had to take a break, and then brought him back like how we typically do. It just um, you know ended up having a calf issue, and then then that really kind of put a hold on the outdoor season, and, and we had to kind of revamp some things. But um, you know he's been healthy, and you know really only been hurt once, you know. In, in his in his career, and it was really just a week or two thing. It seems like forever, but you know, um, just just keep trying to keep him healthy, and um, I, I think there will be a focus probably for you know more like NCAA's and beyond for him in the outdoor season. So just see what see what makes sense. But he's gonna run hard at the indoor nationals. I mean, everyone's gonna run hard, sure. and, and that's we've always just run hard at that meet. Um, we don't typically double and triple people. Um, throughout the, the regular mm -hmm. portion of the season, not at the MPSF, not at the Pac-12, but, but we do run hard at that meet. And it's part of their training, it's part of how we look at things, and they run hard, and then we give them a break, and then we, then we build back up. But, um, you know, I think if you have three kind of NCAAs, I think, I think you can run hard at all three. Mm -hmm. You just got to be smart about it. Yeah, so, yeah, you just ran 352 for the mile. Where do you think, how do you think this fitness right now compares to in the past weeks when you've seen it? Yeah, I mean... I think it's just a little, you know, it gets a little bit better each season. Um, you know, I think, I think in, in the in cross country season, I think I think he was probably 
you know, in the best shape he's ever been in, in in that time of year in the fall. You know, I think this indoor, he's probably the same, if not a little bit better. So, I mean, I think each year you just, things kind of grow on each other, you know, like it's just, so I think he's continuing to get better and continue to get stronger, uh, continues to amaze me in races and in practice. And yeah, I mean, I expect him to be, um, just, just continue to progress. Yeah. And mentally, I mean, obviously it was a surprise that he lost NCAAs in cross country. Mentally, did you see any sort of after effects from that? I mean, he was fired up to, to get going in training. I think he, he had a good, good winter break. You know, I made him take some time off and, um, you know, put the brakes on for a little bit, but he was motivated and excited to, to get back. And, um, you know, I think, I think it was actually in a weird way, it was a positive thing. It kind of like, not like a relief, but it's, it's hard when you're on top and, and that's, that's all you can do. So, um, you know, hopefully people see that and see that he's human, you know, and, and I think, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a Patriots fan, you know, being here in Boston. And a lot of people don't like the Patriots, but that's because they're good, you know. <laughs> Same thing with why people don't like the Yankees. And, I, and it's, you know, it's a tough spot to be in, but it's, you know, I think in some ways it's kind of been a relief almost to, yeah. to maybe uh, not win every single race, you know. I, I, I never think it's bad for an athlete to lose. Um, you don't want them to. I mean, you, you certainly don't want to do it at the Nationals, but it's not, you know, that's that's part of the sport. you got to get used to used to that, the winning and the losing. And, uh, do you, do you get the sense, though, that people don't like him because he wins all the time? No, I, I wouldn't say that. I think it's just, it's, it's uh, I think a lot of people do like him. I think, I think but you, you always got people that are going to cheer for the underdogs. And sure. and I, I'm one of those types of people when I'm watching yeah. basketball at home. Uh, but, um, you know, I think I think it's like, I don't want to compare him to Tom Brady, but, um, you know, I think, at least in our community and our town, people yeah. really, I mean, they really appreciate what he's done, and I really do. And I think he's, he's just for our sport and for what I've seen the last four years it's kind of it's been a really cool thing to watch and, yeah. and, and be a part of so I'm proud of him and I think he'll continue continue to get to get better all right well I've taken too much of your time so yeah I no I appreciate it, it. yeah